Hello, and welcome to It's a Variety Show. My name is Anna Brunetti, and I will be your host for, the, for this evening. We have a great show in store for you today. We have an interview with horror film director Brian Bouye, who is here to speak with us about his latest film. We also have a live music performance from the Ragtag Band. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to a very special segment today. I'm here with Brian Bouye, uh, acclaimed film director and producer. Brian, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me, Mark. Hey, um, I understand you've been busy at work uh, after the very big success you have with the network. Uh, you're now on to your next uh, endeavor. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your uh, the work that you're doing right now. Uh, yes, uh, well, the, I just completed a short film, my first short film actually, uh, called Famous. Um, it's about the unexplainable desire that people have to become more than who they really are and would uh, throw away everything that they know about themselves, just have their name tossed around a couple times. It's um, the, for the first short film i ever done, which uh, it's kind of funny because usually I did it backwards. I started off with features and then I moved to short films. And it's also my first kind of attempt at more of an artistic, uh, more of an artistic film. Then. So does, is this uh, another, because uh, I know that you've been working almost exclusively in the horror film genre for quite some time, is this a step away from that? Yes, I would like to say it's a step away from it. There's still definitely definite horror elements to it. It's more, uh, it's a very dialogue driven film. Uh, there's only two main characters in the entire piece. And as much as I love horror, and as much as I, I want to continue doing it in the future, I really do want to expand um, my abilities to do different genres and to show my audience that I am capable of doing more than just horror because that will stick with you over right. time. But um, yes, so that is my stepping away. Okay, well I understand you brought a trailer uh, with you today for us to look at. Can you tell us a little bit about the trailer? The trailer, um, it's a, sh it's a short trailer, it's only, about 30, it's only about 30 seconds long, 28 seconds long, and um, it, it shows some, uh, some of the more, uh, I don't know, artistic kind of abstract moments in the film. Um, so you can take a look at it and kind of interpret it the way you would like to. Um, hope you okay. enjoy it. Well, let's take a look. He asked me the same thing you did. Do you want to be famous? I said, yes. It was like a craving. I wanted it. I needed it. And I did every horrible thing possible to try and get it. That, that was just outstanding. Uh, Thank you. I, I, I really, I, I'm just really very, very impressed. Uh, when can we expect to see the, the film? Uh, this film will be released on, um, let's see, we're, we're pushing for July, summer uh, July 2013. Okay. Um, I'm doing this actually in a collaborative effort with another filmmaker. His name is Sean Manchester. He's directing the Next Step, which is a zombie short film. That's a good and, plug. Um, that, was, that was good. The good way, plug thank you. Um, the way that we're going to be doing this is uh, in July, we're actually going to be having the premiere for both of these films at once at the, show, uh, the Showcase Cinema in Warwick. And we're kind of doing it as a, a one night, a, well, one night only for now, um, back to back, double feature, um, one night, two movies, two directors, and kind of making a whole uh, theatrical experience of, uh, for it. We're having some other local film directors in New England uh, give us their movie trailers that we're going to be putting before uh, our film's going to be shown. And then we have um, some extra good, fun stuff in between our films as kind of a buffer. And that so sounds, That uh, sounds really exciting. Thank you. And uh, af after that, we actually are going to have a reception. There'll be a bar and there'll be uh, a buffet where we're going to invite as many film people as we possibly can to just kind of uh, interact and network and exchange business cards and talk about film. Very much looking forward to it. Much success with the project. Um, you can expect us that we'll be out there to, to see the results of your hard work and uh, you know, onward and upward. Thank, thank you, you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Okay, we've had uh, Brian with us today, and we're going to take a short break, and then we'll be back with more in the studio.
When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. And we're back. Let's hear from the Vagtag Band. Great, great job, guys. Let's go to a quick commercial. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Hello? May I please speak with Anne? It'd be really swell to take her out on a date because she's a girl and I'm a boy and I like puppies and she like... Okay, I'll call. Anne, it's Woody. Uh, would you like to go to the movies with me? Even a romance flick. Movies? What kind of girl do you think I am? What a total jerk. Yeah. Hey, Annie. How about dinner for two moi and vu? Woody, is this some kind of joke? I thought maybe we'd grab a bite at Applebee's and then maybe smooch in the park. Whatever, you jerk. Hi, Ann. This is Woody. I just got my hands on a truckload of explosives and was feeling a little lonely, and I was wondering if, you know... Oh, Woody, that sounds interesting, but only if you have C12. I only go with boys who can really tear up the town. <laughs> you sure know how to have a good time. Can you think of anywhere you'd like to blast a kingdom come? Well, I'll leave the details up to you. 
Surprise me. I like surprises. I think I'm gonna wear my red shoes. Bye. I didn't think Woody had it in him. time with you, Anne. So did I, Woody. I never knew you could be so much fun. Of course, now you've got a mighty high bar to jump over in order to keep me entertained. Yeah, but that's what makes dating a girl like you so much fun. You truly haven't a clue as to what you're saying, do ya? Will you marry me? Don't be silly. My life needs stability. <sighs> How I love a mystery girl. I think I'll sing a happy tune. Okay, and that is our show. We will catch you next time. And remember, your mom is so fat that when she went to the mall, Santa sat on her. Have a good night. <laughs>